Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the artificial insemination. About 6% of women in US in reproductive age that is between 15 to 45 years are unable to conceive even after one year of unprotected sex. To deal with this problem of infertility in men or women, the technique of artificial insemination is employed. The artificial insemination involves insertion of sperm of male partner or donor into the female reproductive parts without coitus or sexual intercourse. The sperms are usually put into the cervix, uterus or the fallopian tubes of the woman. The most common method called intrauterine insemination involves placing the sperm into the uterus of woman while intracervical insemination involves placing the sperm in the cervix of the female. Equipments used The artificial insemination uses ovulation kits, ultrasound and the blood test. The procedure Fertility drugs like clomiphene citrate was given to women to increase the rate of ovulation that is multiple ovulation events. Artificial insemination involves complete abstinence at least 2 to 5 days before semen collection. The semen can be collected by using either masturbation, using collection condoms, surgical sperm aspiration and vibratory or electrical stimulation. The sperms from collected semen are washed to remove the chemicals that cause discomfort to female and increase the chances of fertilization within one hour of ejaculation. The most active sperms are collected from liquefied and centrifuged semen. The active sperms are then placed into the uterus using the catheter. The advantages. Artificial insemination is short and relatively painless process. It is highly useful for patients suffering from erectile dysfunctioning. The AI is helpful for patients undergoing radiation therapy that compromises the fertility. Disadvantages The success rate is low that is only 5 to 15 percent which is dependent on the age of female, poor quality of sperms or egg, severe endometriosis, damaged and blocked fallopian tubes due to infection etc. Due to use of hormones, in case of failure of fertilization, hormonal imbalance may ensue. The chances of twins or triplets will increase if the female is on infertility medications that will increase the miscarriage and premature births. Due to medications, there is an increase in the chances of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and artificial insemination is costly. The applications Artificial insemination is most commonly used in infertility cases, both men and women infertility. The male infertility that can be treated using AI involves oligospermia that is less than normal sperm count and or low sperm motility. And the last application is the female infertility issues like endometriosis, unreceptive cervical mucus and vaginal acidity can be solved or can be treated by using artificial insemination. Thank you.